must be the entrance. Looks even bigger up close. Well, let's crash their little party. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators. But that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Our numbers dwindle while their numbers grow. But it's not too late. We can still survive, but to do so, we must be ready to adapt. We cannot be too proud to evolve. of reason. There is a thin line between being a survivor and being a coward. First, for all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Navarro. Without the shield. The wolves go hungry, yes. But the day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change? Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough! Or I will not allow you in your bastard pain to, to lead us into annihilation. Peter Daval, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, father. They 
wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... we... FORCE THEM TO!
Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Taxpayers money. James Harrow. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Uh, I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me afterwards. time we gathered together in the manor. Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. Sir. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? Hello, sir. Director Rent here spared no expense to approve those gauntlets. Oh, officially they called it a cholera epidemic, but... The truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Train fare here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Veil of Secrets. Long time no see, Mr. Rentier.
Mr. Rent here. Y you remember me? From my first year of cadet training, I'm the shortest one of the bunch. But the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. Right before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness, Central Virginia. His life changed forever during that fight. Highborn nearly killed him. Badly tore up his leg. Edgar carried him in the dead of night across enemy lines to a field hospital, but the surgeon could only do so much. After that, Dad could no longer function in the field. Heavy as hell. Well, where the hell you been? I thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the western border secured. Did you hear about those ones that grew tentacles? That's a first. Gravener's with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Mr. Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Should have seen that priest armed with holy water crosses and whatnot. And that tick, he scared stiff. You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time?
Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub and father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. And you can see by the look in his eyes, he wasn't too happy about it. Welcome home, Mr. Red Deer, sir. Good to see you back, sir. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty, but that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier. We've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizu's glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us.
left the Harrow of Zeppelin. Jess! Thank Christ! Where's my father? Still kicking ass, last time I saw him. Old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Hold up, pal! You're gonna be fine. You okay, Agent? Just hold on. Yeah. 